اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم اذ كنتم مادان فالف بين قلوبكم فاصبحتم من نعمته اخوانا وكنتم على شفا عفرة من النار فانقذكم منها فذلك يبين الله لكم اياته لعلكم تهتدون اند هولد فاست collectively to the rope of Allah and be not divided here of atrocities being committed by Muslims upon Muslims hundreds of thousands of Kalima reciters being brutally massacred by Kalima reciters you are aware of the war that is going on Saudi Arabia the center of islam attacking kalma goers in yemen hundreds of thousands of have been massacred look at what's happening in iraq what's happening in iran so much blood so much blood of the innocent that the whole world could be reddened with that blood the superpowers are arming both sides so that they settle their own score arming both sides so much lawlessness so much greed the muslim countries are like a herd of sheep without a shepherd you must have all have seen the documentary four days without a shepherd i was in rabwa in those days and i remember those four days it was like a ship without a rudder as if we were just drifting aimlessly four days was a long long day and i remember that a few days before i went to see Hazur Ayyadullah Talib bin Aziz he in his office and I was speaking with him for almost half an hour I was the principal of one of the many of the secondary schools in Sierra Leone and he was the principal in, in Ghana and so we knew each other to some extent and after he was elected as the khalifa he went to london and on my return to canada i also stopped in london i am standing on the pulpit and i swear on oath that the mean a masrur that i saw in rabwa was not the one that i saw over there instantaneous change there was a tremendous change he looked a different person that is the strength of the ahmadiyya jamaat the khilafat is the is, is the strength of the ahmadiyya jamaat na takbir hazrat muhammad mustafa murad ahmad ki left oracle ventricle waqt par khulte hain band hoti hain saans ja raha hai blood ja raha hai ek tartib hai maut kya hai inhi ajza ka pareshan hona what is that that is when these elements are disunited and they are fragmented there is a second law of thermodynamics sometimes called the law of entropy and hazrat khalifa tu masih rabe in his book revelation nationality uh, rationality knowledge and truth has uh, given a one full chapter to entropy 
And to be says that anything if left alone will be fragmented. Look, this roof is standing on pillars. They are girders, they are pillars. It wants to come down. If there is no maintenance, after the passage of time, it is bound to come down. I am standing against gravity. If I do not use the food, do not take proper medicines, I am bound to fall down. That is how the Muslim world, without a spiritual leader, that is how they are falling apart. 73 sects. At loggerheads with one another. 72 calling the other as an infidel out of the pale of Islam. 72 calling each other. They are totally disunited. Yes, but they are united on one thing. They are united on calling the 73rd sect, which is a Jamaat, out of the pale of Islam. The famous hadith of the Holy Prophet, you are all, you all are aware of it, about it. You call a Muslim a non-Muslim, the fatwa reverts back on you. What should we expect? The Holy Prophet said that out of the 73, 72 will be wrong. The 73rd will be right. Look, my dear brothers and my dear daughters, the rope of Allah was lowered. Aminu wa amilu salihat. That was, it was conditional. God said, I will make the Khalifa. But it, amilu wa amilu salihat. Hazrat Umar was martyred. Hazrat Usman was martyred. The blood was, blood was spilled on the Holy Quran. Hazrat Ali was martyred. Imam Hassan and Hussain, you all know this. This rope of this blessed blessing of Khilafat was taken away. And now by the grace of Allah Ta'ala, that rope has again been lowered. In the time of Hazrat Masih Maud who was his, his, his foot servant. And the Holy Prophet had, had, had in the Holy Quran that he will have a second coming. My dear brothers, the whole world is talking about Khilafat. We want to have Khilafat. We want to have Khilafat. They tried to revive the Khilafat of the Ottoman Empire. But the Holy Prophet said, Khilafat Allah min hajin nabuwat. On the precept of prophethood. That is the Khilafat that will survive. They tried to make many people as Khalifa. But it did not work. Those of you who are old enough, Colonel Gaddafi was also there. Bumidian was there. The Holy Prophet said, Khilafat Allah min hajin nabuwat. The guide that was sent to them, they rejected him. They did not accept him. And now they were trying to make a Khalifa among themselves. You know what happened to them? Each one of them, some went to the gallows. Shah Faisal was killed by his own nephew. Was killed by his own nephew. Gaddafi was murdered in such a barbaric way. You know the reason? Khilafat ala min hajin nabuwat. That is why this now say Ruksa ke maksad hamare. Created. Now that rope has again been lowered. Let's hold on to that rope tight. And let us have no fear what come what might. The rope has again the success of the Jamaat e Ahmadiyya, the unity of the Jamaat e Ahmadiyya, the unity of the world depends upon Khilafat. No. Peace!
حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح اول ایز یو نو لیٹ دی فاؤنڈیشن آف خلافت حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح مسیح ثانی گیو مینی لیکچرز ایٹ دی ویمبلے ہال مینی لیکچرز اپن ہاؤ مسلم کین یونائٹ اسپوک اباؤٹ دی یونیفیکیشن آف مین کائنڈ اسپوک اباؤٹ دی یونیفیکیشن آف ہیومینٹی حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح سالس ایز یو آل نو اینڈ مینی آف دی اسپیکرز ہیو جس ہیڈ point this rose phrase love for all hated for nothing an end to bloodshed love for all hated for none hazrat masih mahmud alaihi salatu wasalam the last book which he wrote paigham e sulah message of peace we are a peace loving people you ask anybody in the world talk about the ahmadiyya muslim jamaat says oh yeah that one people who are talking about peace Hazrat Masih Mawla Salatu Salam was this person who was who was the who, who brought the peace with justice peace with justice and that is that is what is lacking in the world Hazrat Khalifatul Masih Rabe wrote his uh, the book uh, uh, the, the Gulf Crisis and the New World Order a time will come when that will bad book will be the textbook of muslim unity and the unity of the world i was one of the translators i was one of the compilers he spoke about how muslims can be united together how the world can be united we are all fragmented we are all the children of allah this spectacle here is a demonstration of the unity of the of the of the, the unity of the world you have the africans you have the african sitting over here sir union over here somebody from ghana somebody from nigeria somebody from from fr- french countries somebody from bangladesh somebody from pakistan somebody from all united this is the unity the pathway to unity the pathway to justice the pathway where muslims can unite where the world can unite and come together hazrat abirul mu'minin as you all know peace conference every year peace conference and we gave a, give a hefty price as a token of our love to a to a person or to an individual or to a company that has that is promoting peace it is done here in canada we do it in germany we do it in england hazur has written letters to the pope spoke at the european assembly spoke at the british assembly spoke in here in our assembly here had audience with the prime minister look we are struggling for peace some some people might think that this is a small community and they they are talking about peace what voice do they have come in fiat in kalilat in ghalabat fiat in kasirat bismillah how many times a small community has overpowered a much larger community so my dear brothers my speech could be long I got have so many notes over here. You and I are the representative samples of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat. Unless we show unity among ourselves. We show unconditional obedience to the Khalifa. That is the secret. That is the secret of our expenses. I remember in 1970 when the Khalifa al-Masi Salas visited Sir Ali Un. There was a there was a Namainda Akbari Namainda. That was what he said. Where did the money come from? It's such a big job. In the Quran, you are doing so much. 
مبلغین ساری دنیا میں بھیج رہے ہیں پیسے کہاں سے آتے ہیں تو مجھے یاد ہے حضور نے ایسے ہاتھ بنا کے کہا کہ ہمارا جو ایک سینٹ ہے نا اس کی بڑی طاقت ہے ضائع نہیں ہونے دیتے ہو ہمارے ایک سینٹ میں بڑی برکت ہے سو الیس وی آر یونائٹیڈ وی آر سیمپل ٹو دی ہول ورلڈ الیس وی سو یونٹی امنگ آور سیلس ان آور فیملیز ود آور چلڈرن ود آور کنٹری لک ایٹ دس بیوٹیفل کنٹری کین آئی گیو سچ اے اسپیچ ان پاکستان دس از اے کنٹری which has given us that liberty of freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Why not pray for this country? I doubt whether there has ever been a day when I do not pray for this country, given us so much freedom, given us so much respect. We keep on breaking our mosques, breaking down the minarets and the domes, was it last year or the year before two mayors were here and they were both pleading and asking for a bigger mosque in the other place gode me tune sab dushman utare amir sahab was giving a speech about how how we need funds in order to build mosques we are trying our best kaam tera kaam hai hum ho gaye ab bekarar خدا تیرے گھر ہیں سو دیٹ از دیٹ از دیٹ از دیٹ دیٹ از آور 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 سپورٹ شوڈ بی دیٹ وی شوڈ آلویز پرے فار حضور پرے فار دی خلیفۃ المسیح اینڈ آلویز ٹرائی آور بیسٹ دیٹ وی ریمین یونائٹیڈ ہاؤ کین آئی ٹاک ٹو دس ورلڈ ایف مائی فیملی از ناٹ ان یونٹی ایف آئی ہیو اے پرابلم ود مائی چلڈرن ایف آئی ہیو گاڈ فار بی اے پرابلم ود مائی وائف a problem with my with my neighbor we we are a community the world is watching it's not these speeches it's not the written statements people are looking at you people are looking at me looking at you so that is why my dear brothers as i said earlier the world is at the brink of it as if still not satisfied Let's have a, 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 a space on, on, the, on the moon, on the Mars. Nek ko kuch dar nahi hai, go bada gardaab hai. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, may Allah Ta'ala bless you all and may Allah Ta'ala grant us all the ability to hold on to this rope because that is the secret of our success. that we cling on to this rope to cling on to this rope of khilafat and for the last 110 years we are fulfilled by the grace of allah walladina amanu wa amilu salihat because allah says i make the khalifa la yastakhlifannahum i make the khalifa so let us pray that this khilafat remains in the ahmadiyya jamaat as the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam predicted and then he kept quiet after saying that there will be a period when there will be a khilafat alam min hajar nabuwat and then he kept quiet it's my duty that are my children my grandchildren i will instill into them that khilafat the rope of khilafat we should hold it tight and have no fear come what might assalam alaikum takbir hazrat muhammad mustafa حضرت خاتم الانبیاء اسلام احمدیت آج صبح 